Welcome back to Crusader Kings, my friends. Today, we are continuing where we left off with our Astorius campaign. We are helping defend France against a holy war of the Ulamides against France. But I believe so far we are winning. We have an 8% war score. Yes, we are looking at a very dangerous faction. Uh, very dangerous indeed. Could cost us our round, but I'm not too worried about that. We have more than enough money to hire troops, if that is the case. We are winning our wars right here. God, blessing upon thee, commissioned Bermondo. It has been brought to our attention that you are perhaps not spending the appropriate effort on the matters of theology. We would like you to encourage you to set aside your worldly worries and focus on matters of divine in nature. Pick the theology focus. Well, I am fine with that. I have no problem picking the theology focus. It gives me a health bonus and a learning bonus. Gains 100 devotion. We are so close to ranking up to our next little rank right here. I don't even think you need me anymore, France. So we are going to disband my armies. So I can build my manpower back up. Yeah, you should pretty much have it in your own hands by now. Let's see. 32% war score. I have helped out with 10% of the war. Majority of the help came from me. So you're welcome, King Carl. I mean... I forget who you are. Wait a minute. You are not King Carl. Yes, King Theodore, the usurper. You are welcome, my friend. I do want to arrange a marriage with your wife. I mean, with your, one of your kids eventually. I can arrange marriage with your wife, man. Yes, I'm gonna steal your wife. Come here, wife. All right. Valerius, the wife of Earl Brodo of Stere, has been spending a few days in Austria's deal widow. It has been a very nice experience meeting her, and maybe our peoples are not that different after all. I will write to Earl Brodo. We shall be friends. Please be my friend, good sir. Are you married yet? You are married. Have a kid. Please, have a kid. I need you to make babies. Just like you have finally made babies. See, have you made babies? Of course not. I don't think you can make babies. Yes. Okay. Let's check our packs here. Maybe we can form a few alliances. Yes. That is definitely worth it. I believe. Sign an alliance. King Theodoric is already very fond of me. Perhaps I should focus my time and resources to sway someone else. It's time to move my attention elsewhere. Continue to sway, King Theodoric III. Smith, welcome the Jews. Are you welcome the Jews back into? What is welcome the Jews? Mistakes were made. Were made. Let's not dwell on them. No, all is so away. I will swallow my pride. Can we borrow from the Jews? Yes, we can. I know the 300 gold. Then let's expel the jewelry once again. 1,134 gold in my pockets. I'm a very, very rich man. Possible to rank up? Let's rank up. Okay, guys. So, got a lot of money. Building the military. I cannot declare war on him. Just yet, because of France is war with him, but at least his manpower is without a doubt draining. This is 
it's going to be a very rough world, as I can already tell, guys. Um, should we build castle walls? Uh, let's see, let's build a castle town right here just to help our income out just a little bit. And let's fast forward just a little bit. An infidel at your court, my liege, my court chaplain, Cardinal Gossa, said, I demand you to burn the infidels at the stake. Erna, you died. You are Sunni. Can I demand your religious conversion? Okay, I will not do such a thing. Jesus will cure me. I live my life as other men do, navigating its rocks and obstacles, doing my best to achieve success in my endeavors. Still, everything we do takes place in the light of Jesus, and we must take care lest the influence of Satan comes into our lives. Indeed, it is so I should ponder this word. Thank you for converting your faith. Blessings to you, Brother Romano. I have observed your attempts as following the rule of St. Benedict. I have noticed you could do with some help. Allow me to offer mine. However, the first lessons must be nothing in life is attained without cost, and minor form of compensation would therefore be required. I don't need your help. I need to keep all of my gold to myself and my friend. We have been a churchy man, but no. Ooh, France won. Okay, guys, so France is won. Let's turn this down just a little bit. East of Alright, so let's look at him. He has hired, he's got retinues. We could go ahead and definitely declare war on him. may actually be a good idea to go ahead and do that. So, let's check this out. Um, a vast opinion. It's all good. Okay, so, here we go. Rocking into it. The first, you are my the second. You are my the holy. Here on the Holy War for Leon. Let's call our vessels. That is, hire some mercenaries. We will hire this one. This one. thousand some men. Okay. It's coming straight down here. I want to honestly leave this society. So let's leave this society. I mean we've gained the great traits. A lot of great traits from it. Can I learn? I kind of think that we should hire uh, another group of mercenaries. Let's go. Another group. How much gold are we losing on? Twelve ducats. French king, will you join my war? Possibly. Oh, you need to. 
really seem like these guys can even get here. Let's see. Do I have any fleets? I do. I have three. Really a lot that I can do with that. Let's disband. thousand and six two men. Ha ha, he who laughs last laughs the longest. Finally, that groveling fanatic bishop has left this fine earth. Well, everything will definitely be better without him. I have a lot of extra time on my hands now. I do think a got a skull would look fine on my mental piece. Yes. I will take your skull from your grave. I need poor chaplain, of course. Or do we never? Yeah, for Chapman, let's research culture take right there. Um, let's just research economy take two right there. All right. Um, go ahead and raise up this force too. Just a little bit more men in here. Finally, with one last swing of the cleaver, Bishop's Ungala ugly head is severed from his equally disgusting body. I roll it up in a piece of cloth, stash it in my satchel, and escape undetected into the night. We have done it! We have stole our Bishop's head. Now we carry it on us like a lucky charm. Damn, I'm really not losing that bad of money. Come on. Where you heading? Something that's you. A pretty noble from Lakes has spent a week visiting the Austria Steel Widow, constantly bragging about his wealth and estates back home, insulting his local peers and behaving like royalty. Your courtiers are quite sick of him and are asking you to take action. I will write a formal complaint to King Korak of Lagen. It's not like you do anything for me anyway, dude. You suck. Salamencia, Balanoid. Ah, you'll be okay, Vassal Levies. Let's see now. He will arrive there on 12th of October. We will join him right there. Arrive on the 23rd of October. I'm going to take out this little bit of an army right here. He's going to land on Valinoid, which is fine with me. Okay. Let's march you down over here to Valinoid. So now he's going to Zamora. The enemy commander has been slain. Let's just throw all you guys in real quick. Make sure we don't lose this fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, join, 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 join. I do not need to lose this fight, guys. Get in there. Get in there. Do not tell me I'm about to lose this. No. 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 How do outnumbered men always win a stupid fucking fight? This happens every motherfucking time.
every fucking time this happens to me when I fight in these guys. I am more mercenaries. I can't really afford all these mercenaries, but good God. Oh, I do not need you to do that. I need you to come up here to Leon. Going to Astorga. Come on, run, 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 run. Oh my god. Right here. Come on now. Help me out here. It's pissing me off now. I've done lost twice. Alright, let's march on him. Let's finish his education. Barothel can marry. Who is this? Let's just break this brothel. Or she's quick. She's chast. I hate that. I always gotta be chast. Let's see, let's marry you. Princess of the Byzantine Empire. I would definitely try to do that. Let's see, military. Oh, let's go to Pax. Will you please form an alliance with me? God, he never does. Never. to lose this war once again. Don't you dare beat us down. Don't you dare. Dare. I have to say there's no fucking way in hell. Beat his army down as quick as I can. Hopefully, just take out his military might. So if we can manage to take out his military might, then we can crush his military power. Okay, we have to make this quick. We're running out of money pretty quick. Chasing him down. Down, knock him down, knock him down. Good. Okay. That joys. And knock him down again. Just keep chasing our army down.
the Colin allies. Of course we can. It's not like they've really been helping me much anyway. Let's see, let's disband that baby. War score now. Okay, so let's disband. Let's disband. Okay, so now. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about this negative amount of money I got here. Oh, Jesus. Gosh, you know, yeah. A little difficult. <coughs> I mean, so far we were winning. We're doing pretty good, too. Um. The question is, should I just... Oof. They still got 4,000 men? Oh... Should I... Let's offer white peace. I really feel like this war was getting anywhere. We're gonna have to work on building up our income a lot more before I can actually really gain any more territory. I've, I've been trying. figured maybe that would come out a little bit better than it did but honestly that didn't work at all the way I had planned for that to work not at all but we did defend off the invasion oh you know what the whole, the whole time, the absolute whole time, I could have just married my daughter to the King of France and formed an alliance. Yes, I could have. I did not want to do that either. Is that the only reason you wanted a marriage? So I'd help you out in your war? I need help. In my war, my friend. 
I have often noticed how Theodoric seemed to make awkward, weird mistakes in diplomatic encounters. I have a couple of books on the matter, and he would probably be happy with my help. I will happily share the things I know. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. So, my next campaign, we're just letting the clock tick away here. <clears throat> I know someone else is doing a Hellenistic campaign down here. I, I really want to do that, but I'm not much for stealing other people's ideas. I try to stay away from doing what other people are doing at the moment. So, I'm kind of more or less thinking a new star date. Um, whoo. Ooh. Maybe even <clears throat> right here, Pomerania. I might actually start over here. Is Dalyata? I don't know. I I kind of like the idea of Dalyata, except for that he's an Irish man. No, I kind of like the idea. I mean, that was some crappy tech, to be honest. Uh, as Austrias, we are surviving, so I, I can't really say too much about Austrias. Offer to join a war. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. You know, I didn't even realize, but I'm in another holy war. That's just fantastic, guys. Always wait until the land's been in the fire, holy war, I guess we know that. Alright. So, we need another spy master. Uh, Armando of the Ostias, he'll do just fine. Let's see if we study technology. I'm not too worried about the humans attacking me in a holy war because it's really not like the humans can do much. I mean, they never have. They've lost just about every holy war that they've declared against me. So. I'm not too worried about them. Now I want to raise my vessel levies. Bring my vessels to here. And get all of them together. <laughs> they really want to reclaim this land, don't they? So having that ally was kind of a, actually a good thing to do. Have I been looted? That was me that got looted. This whole bitch of pork thing is like, I don't understand it at all. Um, let's make you and then uh, the important decision available. We can get in position. Might as well. Don't have to wait long. I'm going to have this territory right here. Well, I want that too. I want everything to happen at one time. Who bring you to court, my friend? If I am to declare another holy war, I realize I might have like 2,000 gold, if not 3,000 gold. So for now, we're just gonna sit and defend. That's all we're gonna do, is be a defender. It never hurts to be a defender. Uh, let's order attach of armies. Attach, attach. I should really clear another war against you, maybe? I know right now we're just trying to see exactly how much gold we can get. What we can make happen here. Ooh, gosh, no. Go this way. So our, our plan is to try to raise 2,000 gold this time and go at it. Which 
straight for it after that. Let's see, I am sick of always being kind to everyone. <gasps> no longer kind. Or y'all come to join y'all's armies to my army or what? Oh, it's just my vassals? Come on. Help a brother out. Ah, uh, yes. We will allow you. We'll accept. So uh, I get a lot of defense, uh, defensive action. I just really don't get any offensive help. With my illustrations, ed education, and all affairs of state and diplomacy, I should have no trouble finding the right way to endear myself to King Theodore the Third. I will send an envoy to his realm. Sounds like a great plan. You can't go wrong with sending an envoy. If you have another offer to join war, I will accept with my issue. I will send an envoy to your realm. I thought I just sent an envoy. Just ex expecting my diplomats were able to convince King Theodore the Third of what an honorable, trustworthy ruler I am and a man that is well worth respect. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I need to fabricate a claim somewhere. I'm actually thinking that Prince may not really be able to hold me off. So, <clears throat> as <sighs> little Theodorico Jr. here, uh, we may just actually have you declare war against France. That's what I may just do. Um, with Vega, uh, Armando, there's my other son, he's 17, oh yeah, he, he's the twin, uh, it's, uh, I'm not worried about swaying your opinion of me, you all have pretty good opinions, okay, so, let's see this, Proceed your way over here. Take that back. <coughs> Whole time already. Good money. Don't want the money, big dog. There are many mysteries in the Catholic faith. It might be interesting to spend some time delving into the old text of the Bible. I will dedicate more time to reading the scriptures. Yes, without a doubt. We got 3,900 some men. Let's see who we can see over here to seize this province. This guy, this guy, this guy. I like that idea. Attack his army. Will they seize his province, hopefully? On the pressure flat. I'm gonna muster that. I'll come back to Porto. Take Porto back. He's probably gonna move his army over there too, not gonna lie. Miraculously, he did not. He's fighting here. Oh. Let's see, can we send uh, this man army over? Okay. 
Yeah, you go CD too, buddy. Wait a minute. You're arriving Columbia. That is a horrible decision, man. Yeah. Not exactly. You got 900 men. I think you can win it. See you start having trouble, I'll just march. Uh, you're having trouble, so we are going to march right on. Help you guys out there. You've been helping us, so we'll help you. Somebody has died, people. You don't even know who, my friends. <clears throat> Barack of Canal Mary. Yeah, she is in peril, and she is in a class Christian. But your father will not accept an alliance from me. I do. I do like that marriage for my son. Indeed. I already accepted that marriage. I could do a weak claim over the Byzantine Empire. I don't know that I thought about that. That would be something. Oh no, a sudden and gurgling and feeling of pressure in your gut. All the warning you had before you were forced to make a dash for the pretty. I gained the truth, diarrhea. Oh. Phenomia? No way, that's the well. Never really want to eat spicy foods when you do have diarrhea. <laughs> if you do, that just kind of burns a little bit. Although you can't quite put your finger on what's wrong, you don't quite feel right. I agree. Game Alice. Hesley suggests that your senses may point to cancer. He insists that you follow his instructions. Oh no. The head, the toe, and leeches? I don't really think that's going to do anything, my friend. Now I have chest pains. Great. Now what are you gonna make me do? You're a bad court physician. I have to let the spirits in. Well guys, we're coming up on the last 15 minutes of our campaign here. I usually try to let y'all know when we're coming up on our last 15 minutes. And of course we died, so. King Vermano has given up the ghost at the age of 60. He died clutching his heart, a humble man he never wanted anyone to make a fuss over his accomplishments. A godly man, Vermano is with the Lord now. So, still gaining victories. Uh, I've had some things added to my treasury. my vassal's opinions. Still pretty decent. That's great. Uh, I need to pick an ambition. Ambition shall be to... Groom an heir. Let's groom an heir. And our treasury, we have the saint's finger bone, and we have a skull trophy. Monthly prestige. Five. Father, we shall keep your skull. We shall keep it for us, Father. Let's make the crown focused in Leon. I think our character focus is going to be diplomacy, fertility, and health. I like the idea of having a very good family. Ruler is uncrowned, open council position. We add spy master yet again. We will put Fermondo as our spy master yet again. Study technology. You come on over here. It's Byzantium. And then we'll send it back over here. Let's award you an honorary title of Master of the Hunt. And let's go look at our vassals. And let's 
award you an honorary title of Master of Course. And since check our packs, can we offer an alliance? Yes! We have an alliance with the Byzantium Empire. That is honestly very, very lovely. Let's break this barrage. And you. Let's go look at our laws here. Um, Carnatic and Collective. Let's make our brother our heir for now. This opinion of me is better. Let's uh, award honorary title of Sinesha. Let's see. Let us. There's one other living member. Let me guess. It is that guy, of course. Um, let's close that. Let's go back. So let us go back to our. Family, house family. Let's go to our sister. Let's marry off our sister. Um, uh, married to someone that has a, an army. Duke of Aquitaine. I do like the idea of marrying him to the Duke of Aquitaine. I will help us in a war. Let's marry you to the Duke of Aquitaine. Where are you? There we go. Yeah, it won't be maternal. That's fine. My brother. Let us marry you. Princess of France. I like that idea. So we've developed some pretty good allies here. We will gain the gold. She has the bloodline. Yes. This bloodline can be passed maternally and paternally. So that's a good trait. Check our packs now. Uh, we already asked to form an alliance. Let's form an alliance with you. Let's form an alliance with you. And there we go. So, we're looking good, guys. We are actually looking pretty decent. I don't know if I want to call y'all in on this war. I kind of just want to leave as he is. I don't really see no point in calling y'all into this war. <clears throat> Just for y'all to waste y'all's manpower. will accept your offer to war. Okay, so let us sit there for a minute. Bro, 
start of the Viking Age. Let's see just down real quick. Um, I guess I could call them in. Let's just see if they'll even join. Let us... Wait, so why can't we borrow? Let's not have the character trait expel the cubes. Oh, welcome to you. Mistakes were made, let's not dwell on them. Let us borrow 300 and expel the fury. Shall go to the ground. So, once again, we must have more than enough manpower to declare a war against him. I don't really want a crown yet. I don't want to wait too long. We don't want him to die. His son was born to me of Austria's and Princess Anthony of the Byzantine Empire named Theodore Rico. Second, son, let's us give you pride. Should be a dutiful commander, my son. So, say Leon, uh, let's see, Astorga, you can build the castle walls. Let's see, here. In Australia, he a widow, he built a castle town. So let's see, how's your manpower looking right now? 6,000. So now we're just waiting to build our castle walls and our castle town, and then we're here to help declare another holy war for Leon. If we're not already past our video time, we might just have to do this next time. Hey. Laptop. We're going to increase time just a little bit. I know the, I've got to be crowned. I kind of don't want to crown yet. This guy's opinion of me is a 20. Let us send him a gift. 100 gold to increase your opinion of me by 26. Eh, why not? Seems like an okay idea. Um, we use you to improve relations. Wonderful, I've gained military tech. Let's check our laws real quick. Realm laws, we can have medium centralization. I do want that. I help out with our manpower situation even more. All those rituals and demands the priest of the Catholic Church feels necessary to prove one's piety is pure nonsense. Despite my feelings about those unnecessary empty gestures, I have always been careful to not show my lack of piety. But perhaps I'm not careful enough. If I don't pay Princess Lutheran's filthy gold, she will expose my lack of faith to everyone. How would you do that to me, dear? Oh, 
you send you a gift? Yes. And here's the gold. Now leave me alone. So man religious. Let's send you a gift. And man religious conversion. Yes, we can. My wife is now Catholic. Castle walls have been built. Shall build another castle town. Big smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant. We're now making 10.86 ducats a year. Pregnancy has made my wife Intha feel much more talkative and cheerful than usual. She never misses the chance to chat with anybody within earshot. Unfortunately, most scholars agree that a pregnant woman should spend as much time as possible resting in a dark room to avoid giving birth to a sickly child. We'll let her have her fun. Being always so distracted might have prevented my wife from taking a good risk, but all this talking with my vassals and servants has had the unforeseen advantage of strengthening our relation with many other people in my court. How fortunate. <laughs> I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with Alfonso tonight. It is my... It is lovely, yet I am most drawn by Defonto himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which has slowly begun to touch upon some almost heretical ideas questioning the salvation of God? We do not ask questions, why did God make us curious? And marital bliss with my wife. Walking the palisades sides of my castle, I am joined by Alfonso. I find myself agreeing with a lot of concepts he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly, he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? I will keep it hidden. Thank you, Alfonso. What if I told you that all you've been taught to believe in is... A lie out of Fonzo continues, stowing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of a pentagram. God lied to Adam in the Garden of Eden. Reject the tyrant deity and let Satan guide your steps. Let's I think we're about to join a society. And if I ain't wrong, it's Lucifer's own. We might. If you offer yourself up to Satan, you will gr be granted powers God has kept from us humans. Fingering the leather pouch in my pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, I think you'll enjoy it, he said with a knowing smile. The covenant will be in contact. Can't stop thinking of all those prisons in my dungeon. I do not. Well, you know what? Let's torture them. Prisoners, and let's ransom you. 25 gold. It is a good tradition to have some gossips around a pregnant woman in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tribulations of this delicate time in her life. As Anthony's husband, it is my duty to provide her with the support she needs. Castletown has now been built in Auto Widow. Castletown here. Building one. And I don't really want to build castle walls right now. And I'm bringing in a good amount of gold. 
but right here is where we're going to end it, guys. Right here. So we have a great military and everything. The Umods, they have 8,189 men. I'm going to declare war for Beyond. <coughs> We'll do that and we'll call our men in we will raise our personal levels raise our vassal levels our vassal opinion we will award an honorary title up there we will send him a gift we will basically award him an honorary title send him a gift and Basically, I'm going to take all my men from all up here. What? You joined as an attacker? But my... My friend. How would you dare? You're my ally. <laughs> Donald's born King Theodore Rico of Austria and with his hand we will name you after your mother. Etiquette. Okay. Battle of Nigeria. Wait, how about you take this hint bearing great sword and let me live? Curses. Main trait one hand. What a way to fight a battle. The <coughs> 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 woman has arrived to my court. I will take her hand. I like the sound of that. I really partake. I would wish you had found me sooner. So, I'm severely injured one handed. That's just great. I didn't want to give up my father's heirloom artifact, so I decided to become one-handed. A better option. Conversion of Serbia into rest. See, where are you hitting? You were hitting and I'll Victory and defeat. Worst defeat at Leon. I want to attach armies. There we go. Let's see. We have two commanders. Theodore Call. I don't want to be a commander anymore. Formandio, my brother. Let us stop leading armies. And alright guys. This has been a good game so far. And we have the French 
getting ready to help us. Byzantium seems to be falling apart. I can't really help Byzantium too much. I have everyone helping me in this war so far. But right here, this is where we will go. So, until next time, guys, I'd like to say I hope you enjoyed. I love y'all. Like always, subscribe, like, click on them alerts. Give me tons of thumbs up, and we'll see you next time for Crusader Kings 2 Holy Austrians.